a historical milestone and achievement for Bougainville is the Arapa Airport reopening. Mixed feelings for those who witnessed the occasion, 25 years of closure since the crisis seeing three airlines that landed. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill officiated at the event and fulfilled his promise to reopen Arapa Airport and reassured the national government's commitment to Bougainville. So, I don't want to play politics in Bougainville, no God. I want to play one role. I honor him, commitment, all Papa, all Tumbuna, and all the line, I want to play in Bougainville. I'm that's all. And this government will continue to do that. Arapa Airport is one of the high-impact projects funded under the Special Intervention Funds. The project managed by a program management unit with National Airports Corporation as the project management consultants was completed in less than three months. It's awarded to three different contractors um, and, and that's how they, they managed to complete the project in a very short time because three different project, I mean contractors um, worked on three different sections of this one project. With the Arapa Airport, it creates benefit and reconciles Bougainville together. It's a plus because it is the landowners who also wanted that um, the uh, you know, pa, uh, Arapa Airport must be open. And also, it's bringing together people of Bougainville. And it's cost-saving measure as well. In Lombalos now, me feeling also I'm starting the next chapter, the journey from Bougainville. Whereby me Bougainvillians here to me chat him way forward uh, inside long old laws. Commercial flights will be operated by three airlines and New Guinea Travel Air and Airlines PNG. Prime Minister Peter O'Neill and Bougainville President Chief Dr. John Momis commissioned the new Arapa Airport. Three airlines also landed here at Arapa that includes Airlines PNG and New Guinea and Travel Air. Fabian Hakalitz. National MTV News, Arupa.